Hey, so today I'd like to show you a much improved way of responding to Instagram comments than I have previously described in my old video. This auto response function was also part of the AI influencer automation that I've created. And at the time I created it, I was really proud because this is what it looks like, really, really complicated. And this is what the new version looks like, so a lot easier to understand and to recreate. So the reason I made it so complicated was uh, because I didn't find a way to get a notification whenever a new comment was posted on my Instagram account. I'm not quite sure if I didn't see it at the time or if it wasn't there, but the reason why this automation is so complicated is because I went through every single post that I had and checked if there were new comments, and if there were new comments, I'd save them in an Airtable. And of course, every time I checked for new comments, I had to check the Airtable if the comment was already in there and if I had responded to it already. And you can see why this gets complicated really, really quickly, really, really fast. And it doesn't just get complicated, it also uses up a lot of make operations. And as you might know, the make pricing uh, evolves around the operations that a scenario burns through. And if you have 100 posts with 100 comments each and you check them once an hour, you burn through operations like crazy, especially if every single check runs through multiple modules, as it is the case in this thing here. There's something else that I built into this scenario that I found quite clever. I noticed that most people commented just with one or two emojis, but sometimes they wrote entire sentences. So I wanted to make sure that the response I gave to these comments would be appropriate to the comments that they gave. So if somebody just posted the fire emoji, I didn't want to write uh, an essay responding to that. So I used ChatGPT to classify first whether the response had been just a fire emoji or just or a complete sentence, and then it would go into a different branch and write an appropriate response either just an emoji or writing an entire sentence. But now I was able to create a scenario that does all of this in just three easy steps. So let me walk you through them. All right, so the new scenario starts with a webhook that is triggered every time a new comment is posted on my Instagram profile. And the way you set this up is you add a watch events module to your scenario. Then you click create a webhook and select your Instagram connection and the page you want to monitor. It only works with business profiles, by the way. And then there are three events that you can watch out for, comments, mentions, and story insights, whatever that is, I'm not even sure. And when somebody has written a comment, I'm using ChatGPT to create a reply. Now, the way I've set up this ChatGPT step is quite straightforward. I've given it a system message, you are my experienced social media manager, and in the user section, I'm telling it to respond to a comment. And what I used to do before in a separate classification step, and then several ChatGPT calls afterwards. Now I'm handling all of this in a single prompt. And that way I'm saving a lot of make operations. And even if it's not perfect, it's still good enough for the kind of content that I'm running. So this is what the new prompt looks like. I'm just telling it to reply accordingly to whatever the comment looks like. If the comment is just two emojis, reply with two emojis. If the comment is an entire love letter, please write a love letter response. And if this is not 100% perfect each time, I don't really mind for the kind of content I'm using it for. The whole point of this is just to write a response to every comment and to keep the Instagram algorithm happy that way to show engagement on my page. And the final step is really straightforward as well. I'm just using the create a reply module and I'm mapping the comment ID from the first step and I'm replying with the chat GPT response from the previous step. So there are two things that I might want to refine. So the first is to set the time when this scenario is active. A webhook trigger will run the scenario every time it is triggered, so 24-7 around the clock. Depending on the profile you're running, you might not want to respond in the middle of the night because it might look kind of weird. So you can actually modify the timing of the trigger inside of make.com and you can set it to at regular intervals and, for example, pick every 15 minutes and then set a time that corresponds to your business hours, for example, um, from you know 8 in the morning to, to 10 at, at night or something uh, only on certain days. If you run this only during, during the hours that you are awake, that will also help you to keep an eye on the responses that ChatGPT writes for you. Speaking of which, you could add a notification at the end of the scenario and send the comment response to yourself via email or Slack message or Telegram message or whatever so that you are notified whenever it writes a response and you can immediately check if the response was alright or not. And the last thing I would add is a sleep action between every response that I would send, because if there are a lot of comments to respond to and you just keep firing off response after response every few seconds, the Instagram API might not like that. 
So in order to pretend that I'm a little more human, I've added this delay in here that will just add a 10 second delay between each response. So this is an example of what a Telegram notification would look like, where I'm creating an alert, sending the original Instagram comment and the reply that was written to it. All right, and this is my new and improved Instagram comment auto replier. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions uh, about it, I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.